welcome guys back to another video and today i'm gonna cover cyber security certifications that you need in south africa um so yeah this topic i mean it's quite heavily debated on do you need a cert do you not need a cert are they actually valuable are they worth the money this and that so i'm only going to cover this once um that's why i made this video so i made this whole youtube channel because i kept getting um, like the same questions over and over. So I thought, uh, what's the best thing to do is just create a video and then whenever, whenever someone asks a question surrounding this topic, I'll just send them this link. Um, so like you can see um, on my screen, right? This is the full Jeremy security certification roadmap. So basically this covers like all the cybersecurity certifications uh, basically within the industry, right? So if you guys can see it is actually close to um 500 certifications which is like insane you know and you can see that um, it shows each certification and under which um domain of security it falls under so you got software security security operations security architecture and engineering asset security network security things like that right um but i'm gonna show you guys um the only ones that really matter um, because I feel like this whole thing of certifications, right? Like, I don't say it's a scam, but like, obviously there is like a major skills gap within the industry, but, um, a lot of what these companies are trying to do is they're trying to, um, fill that skills gap with certifications, right? And I don't, like a certification doesn't necessarily give you the skills or promise you a job or promise you a promotion, right? But they're trying to... Uh, filling that gap in that sense um like but it's not necessarily working because we don't, we don't have a degree gap or certification gap we have a skills gap so my focus is always on getting people the hands-on skills and experience whether that's by doing labs or projects or just doing like an internship or junior role or whatever but um, that's my focus but unfortunately or fortunately um, you do need to get some certifications so that you can sort of display the skills you have and also like when you apply for jobs that's what they're looking for um it just shows that you're dedicated to learning um and that you're serious about investing within yourself and you know serious about um investing in your career right but um i think that's about it on certifications let me so show you exactly which ones you need to get oh let me just open this um so yeah these are the main ones you need to get let me just make this bigger um so we have comptia and isc squared so those two are um vendor neutral uh, certifications um from comptia the only ones you need if you want to like for like let's just say for entry level role or you're still trying to break in um basic one that you need is security plus right but um if you don't have any let's just say IT experience, then you might need to get, I know they have the IT plus, which is the IT fundamentals. And then you might need to get the A plus or the network plus. But the thing is you don't have to get these um, certifications. You can just study for them and then um, get gain the knowledge without actually like paying for these certifications because um, yeah, like I said, some of these certifications, they make a lot of money with it. It's a money grab and they're like really, really expensive. So I don't think you need to put too much money towards that. Um, there goes my sponsorship. They never sponsor me. But <laughs> yeah, I just need to um, study for this, gain the knowledge and um, yeah, make sure you get the knowledge for that because that's going to be a prerequisite for just any cybersecurity role in general, right? you need a bit of IT fundamentals. So this is a good, um, is a good to have or good to know. The next one you're going to need from CompTIA is the Security Plus. I will just um, tell anyone trying to break into the cyber security space, get the Security Plus. It just gives you like fundamental, basic, general knowledge, um, you know, theory surrounding the whole cyber security landscape. Um, so that's really, really good to have. If you want to focus more on the blue teaming side, then I would also say get the CISA Plus. 
that's a cybersecurity cybersecurity analyst um, certification from CompTIA. Also a bit more expensive, but very much worth it. And then on the IEC squared side, um, funnily enough, I actually don't have any IEC squared certifications, but like I would also recommend them if you have the funds. They actually, I think, I haven't checked the price actually. Can I do this now? But I think they're actually a bit more expensive than the CompTIA ones. Um, give me a second. Let me just validate that before I spew out nonsense. Um, uh, right. Just give me a second, guys. I usually record these videos like on the fly, but uh, let's see how much does it cost. So if you go here, yeah. uh, okay, so this one needs a bit of um, one year required experience. So maybe focus more on on the on the com tier ones, but these are these are also really good to have. Um, so see SACP system certified cybersecurity practitioner and the cloud practitioner and then um obviously there's a cissp which is they they require on some um junior to intermediate roles which is uh quite ridiculous but this is actually like quite an advanced like advanced advanced um certification this you get like after i'll say minimum minimum five years of experience within this um, industry so don't worry about this now this is also quite expensive I've, Put there around 20k um but yeah so you got when you're starting and start out studying for these then get the security plus then get the CISA plus and then from ifc screening you get the cc which is a foundational cybersecurity certification um just covers the basics really this is actually easier than the security plus so if, if you can you can do all three of these and then do this and then do that you'll figure it out and then um you need one cloud one or need to you need to like get at least one cloud certification right so you can either follow the azure pathway so that's the ag900 uh ac900 then going down from there right it's ac200 and ac500 and all of them there so these are just specifically cybersecurity ones or you can do the aws pathway which is aws cloud practitioner so that just teaches you the basics surrounding cloud from AWS, same thing here from Azure, and then you go straight down to the AWS security specialty. So this um, focuses strictly on best cybersecurity best practices within the AWS environment. So this will teach you a lot of that cloud security concepts. Um, and then, yeah, once you get these, maybe one day, maybe one or two, yeah, then you're good. And then I just want to cover the rest of the 500 sets. Um, so if you get anything from Cisco, Qualys, CEH, EC Council, Splunk, Fortinet, Palo Alto, Mimecos, Blue Team Level 1, Triacne sets, Cyber Defender, Hack the Box sets, Google Cyber Security sets, TCM Security sets, or any other hacking or red team sets in general. Um, what I, I usually have like one comment for all of these. So I group them as under, as other. So these are like vendor specific slash other smaller cyber um, security certification sort of companies. Um, these ones are good. They do teach you skills. They do teach you theory. Um, it's just that they're not as recognized as the fuck. They're not as recognized as the vendor neutral ones. So. Um, if you are starting out, I'd say focus on getting these. And then these are just for um, building up your skills, those hands-on skills, especially um, sets like the Blue Team Level 1 or the Triacne sets or the Hack the Box sets. You know, they just um, there to teach you the, the skills. They do teach you the, but it's more for hands-on skills or skills specific um, to that vendor. So um, I think that covers more or less everything about sets um yeah do not get hyper fixated on them because a cert, all a cert does is just um uh, 
know, show people that you have the skill or that you have a theory. You know, it's not gonna land you a job. It's not gonna give you a promotion. You know, it's just it's just to validate those skills. So yeah, don't get hyper fixated on them. Um, just get them, pass them, and then yeah, take it forward from there. But otherwise, that's all I have. Um, if you wanna get Join a community of young ambitious people trying to break into cyber or who are trying already in cyber who can assist you within your journey. Just leave a comment down below or hit me up on LinkedIn and then we can see we'll see how we can help you. So that's all I have from my side and thanks for watching. Cheers guys.